wake up every morning and I ask God, why? Why me? Why does he make me this way? They say he made us all in his image, but if this is what he had in store for me, kill me now. The only thing I ever asked for was to be normal, to fit in, to be like everyone else. But instead I get treated like an outcast. Why he gotta call on me? Pick on the big girl. Great job, Debbie. Yeah, right. Sometimes I wish I was invisible. No. I wish everyone else was invisible. Then I would never have to worry about anyone staring at me or calling me out of my name. We're gonna have a test on this Thursday on chapter 7 through 10. Essay format. Be prepared. I'll get that. Don't be late. Dang, Fatty, watch where the hell you're going. Hear me, oh God, as I voice my complaint. Protect my life from the threat of the enemy. Hide me from the conspiracy of the, the wicked. wicked. From the How are you? I'm Dr. Melton. I'm fine. Nice to meet you. So, can you tell me why you're here and what can I do for you? I don't know. You don't know? Okay, well, 
according to the form that you filled out here, it says that you're struggling with some social skills and self-esteem. Is that correct? I guess. Okay, Debbie, look, uh, if, we're, if I'm going to be able to help you, then you're going to need to be able to talk to me. Now, you do realize that everything that you say is confidential. Yeah. Okay, so talk to me. What is it you want that you need? Why, why are you here? Um, I'm here because... I'm here because... I'm tired of everybody. I'm tired of being laughed at, being called names, being picked on. I, I wish everybody would just leave me alone. Why do you think they do those things to you? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't do anything to them. All I do is talk about my weight. I walk down the hall. People stare and giggle. I walk up the stairs and people laugh and taunt me there. Man, get out of the way. Man, move. You should have took the elevator. Debbie, have a seat, have a seat. Okay, just calm down. It's going to be okay. Uh, I think what we might need to do is maybe to place you in some group therapy. So uh, that way that you can slowly kind of come out of your comfort zone and get used to being around this place and with your peers. What do you think? First, what we're going to do is have a little introduction. Tell, tell me your name, a little bit about yourself, and what brings you here today. My name's Alex. I, I'm a recluse. And I don't go out. I don't have a job, and I don't like to meet people. Um, I have social problems, um, and I have self-esteem issues. Um, that's just, that's it. Um, I'm Ashley, and really, I don't think I should be here, but, um, yeah, people say I have an attitude problem, so I guess you can say I'm here for anger management. I'm Sean, uh, I'm an alcoholic, and uh, the court says I'm a bully. Sean, what actually brings you here today? Uh, well, it's court order, number one. But uh, I'm trying to change who, who, who I am. Um, I've, ever since I was a kid, I've kind of picked on my little brothers and sisters, and neighborhood kids, um, kind of get them to do what I want, you know. And then as, as I got older, you know, I, it's just anyone, man. Anyone that you know, gets in my way or bothers me, you know, I, I'll manipulate them, I'll you know, make them do what I want. Um, now, uh, couple lawsuits court says I have to be here take the stupid class and you know, hopefully I can change and be a better person <laughs> now how you plan on doing that <laughs> Ooh, people like you y'all always ruining other people's lives you know whatever I ain't got to say it's hey not it's not my problem how other people feel <laughs> well you know <laughs> and I another thing you you just a punk like you got so much, I don't know, I guess you're just so insecure about yourself that you feel you got to bully everybody else, but you know what? Please. Okay, Alex, um, would you mind telling the group just a little bit more about yourself? My parents abandoned me when I was a little girl. I don't know why, they just did. And I've been this way ever since. I don't have any oh. family. Oh, love. I must be tripping. This my Oh. <laughs> and it was a point where I thought my life was terrible. Compared to others, maybe not. I can learn to deal with my issues and move on. This is only a minor obstacle, and this too shall pass. All right, man. Get you up later. I see you going, white boy. Need some help? Yeah. Appreciate it. 
I guess my life isn't so bad after all. For God is with me. <laughs>